All right. So in this session, we are going to look at how to look for or to look up or to search your database for a specific record. And we are going to display that in the form that we would have or in a form that looks similar to the one that we would have created for the ad. Let me just print out the view so we can see the ad one. All right. All right, so I'm gonna modify this. Actually, I'm gonna make a copy of this and um, I'm gonna allow the user to specify an ID, hit a button and get the data for this particular film. So for example, if I wanna look up film one, I should be able to type in the ID, click search and it displays the other information about it. All right, so let's look at it. So first of all, I'm going to just make a copy of add flim. Let me duplicate. I'm going to call it find flim. All right. And I'm just going to comment out here the add flim. So I'm going to make an instance of the find flim. All right, so let's look back. The name of the class is find flim. Right. Flim, but the new find form. All right. So if we run this, well, we need to add it here. So I'm going to add Flim. All right, but I'm going to modify FLIM a bit. All right, so if we run this, we'll see the same thing coming up for the for add. Which is this, but I'm going to modify it. All right, so. First of all, let's add a little title, J label. All right, so we're gonna be adding the title here. Let's see how it appears. And so there it is. So we have find your film coming up there. All right, so that will help us to understand that it's two different things, not the add film anymore. All right, so I'm gonna change these buttons. Uh, let me change the save the search so instead of saving we're going to be searching for the thing or find the find sounds better so 
Let me search find instead. Search. Right. So on it do. So on the find flim, I'm not gonna put save flim, but find flim. All right. And we have the listeners. So this is gonna be find. All right. So the others are in place. All right, good. So what we're gonna do now, whenever the user clicks on the find, let me just display it so we can see what's going on. Right, so it seems like something needs to be fixed in this before we move on. All right, so they should be find. This should have been fine as well. All right, we're gonna fix up this part though. So that's what we have so far. We have find, clear, close. So if we type in a particle of flim ID here, click find, it should display the flim's name on the flim here. All right. So this is currently what find flim looks like. All right. So, so far we don't need, we're not, um, we're not getting the, the year and the name. The only thing that we really want to get in this instance is the ID, All right? Now we need to do a little work on ConnectDB before we can get this done. All right, so in ConnectDB, what we're gonna create is another method. So we have so far created a method to insert the data. We have created a method that will view all the information. All right, so we're gonna do one now that will, that can be used to find specific information. So we'll create a public. I'm gonna return the information as an, um, as an array. This is just one record. One record comprised of three different pieces of data. So if I use um, like, String by itself, it's the string will just return one whole block of data. If I want to return the different pieces, I'm gonna to have to use some form of list data structure. In this case, I'm gonna use in the um, the array. All right, so I just wanna say string. It's gonna be an array of string, and it's gonna be find the flame. That's gonna be the name of the class, name of the method rather. So this method is gonna return an array and the name of it is find flim. So I'm taking the flim ID, so whatever the flim ID is, and then it will locate the information and return it as an array. So, String so I'm going to create another array called row in which the information will be stored equal to new string. And since it's three different columns, I'll just put three there. And then now we're gonna create our try and catch block. So anything that has to do with the database interface in the database, we normally put that into our try and catch block.
right? And if there is an error, you can use the same J option pane here. So inside here, we can set up our statement. Just above it, let's create a query string. So we are finding the data based on the ID. So we're going to say select star from Flim, where the flim ID will be equal to whatever ID the user would have entered here. So we can continue the ID here. All right, that's our query. And all you need now to do is to execute the query. So in the try block, RS equal to. Execute query. So this will execute the query and give us a result. So if there is any result, so you can just say if r is that next, that would indicate that there, if it has a next, it means that something came back from the request. So when something is returned, we can just store the information. So we're going to say row zero is equal to rs that get string string we're getting is lim id. Remember these names have to be typed the same way that they appear in the database. The three pieces of data will be stored in the array. So this one is going to be flim name. And this one will be flim year. So this will be index, the third index, which is two. All right, so once you would have gotten the data here, what we're saying is that um, once this works, then our array would be populated. However, if it doesn't work, what we're going to do is just to output an appropriate error message. All right, but provided that all of this work, we will just return a row. Row will now contain all the data. All right, so remember we are just searching for one record. So we just say return. So now row is an array and it comprises of a flim ID, a name, and a year. All right. So whenever this is invoked, it will return to us an array with the flim ID, with the name, the year. All right, so from our find flim now, we can then use, we can then use our, um, our CDB object to then interface with the method that we would have created earlier on. I remember that this method um, that's the defined flim returns to us an array. All right, so the find flim is going to return to us an array. So let's see. So when we say cdb that find the flim. I'm going to pass in the ID that we would have gotten from the user. 
this is going to return to us an array. So this is actually an array, right? So I can actually store this into an array of string. So I can say string uh, data, data into an array is equal to the array that would have been returned. So now, so now that we have the data, we can then use the data, which is the array that would have been returned from find flim. And all that we need to do now is simple populate the, um, the fields. So we need to set the text fields just to show that we would have found the record. So we would say something like, I better yet, before I do this, let me run the program so you can see. So if I put in, say, flim one, and I say find flim, what should happen is that if it found flim one, it should put in the name and the year right here, all right? So let's work on that. So if find is click, what we want is that um, flim name, as well as a flim year takes to be set. So it's a very simple process. So let's say flim name text, that set text. All right, so it's gonna, we're gonna set the text to the data one. All right, so remember the first index will have been the ID, the second index will have been the name. And similarly, if we say flim year text that set text to be data two, all right, it should work accordingly. So we're gonna test it to see if it actually works. Let's look in the database since we don't have everything working yet in terms of our menu. So let's search for flim one and see if it's gonna tell you graduation 2021 and 2021 for the year. Right. So find flim, so if I put in one, I say find flim, there it is. Let's search for another one. 987. There it is, so it's working. All right, so that is how we search for a specific, um, a specific record. All right, so let's just look back quickly in terms of what was done. So we went to a DB connect and we would have created a method. And this method searches the database for a specific record based on the Flim ID, all right? So based on the Flim ID that is supplied, we search the database. So there's a condition. So it's a weird Flim ID is equal to ID. And this ID is what the user would have passed in. So this is a query. Here the query is executed and the result is stored in RS. So we check here to see if there is any result. So RS that next indicate that there is result. If there is a result, what we're gonna do, RS comes as, as an associated array, which means that flim ID maps to the particular flim ID that is returned and flim name up to the particular flim name that is returned and so forth. So to access the flim ID, we just say get string 
flim ID, and that will give us the particle of flim ID. And we store that in row zero. And likewise, we get the flim name, store that in row one. Likewise, we get the flim year, store that in row two. All right, so this populates the array for us with the necessary data. Um, if there's an error, we we'll shoot out an error message. Otherwise, we we'll just return row, which is the array that contains the data. And then we are able to pull from that inside our panel here. That's what we did. All right, so we would have um, seen the action listener in the button listener. Here we would have um, gotten the data. So when we create an instance CDB of type ConnectDB, we have access to the flim, the find flim, where we can specify an ID for it to return the specific flim. So this ID is really coming from what the user would have entered. All right, so if we, let me just run this again. So the ID is coming from, oops. So the ID is coming from here, what the user would have entered here, all right? Good, so, so we extract the ID. Um, so based on what the user would have entered, so notice here, so we got the ID from the form pass it into find flim and then this would have returned to us an array with a row of data found and based on that we store it in the array data and then we can access the elements all right so we access the elements and set the text use all right so thank you very much for viewing in our next session we will look at how to update the records Right. I hope to update a specific record.